Hi, I'm Nikki West from Fit Show. Nikki, how was the Fit Show 2023 for you? We had an absolutely fantastic show. Um, we've just um, released all the statistics around attendance, um, but generally the feeling was that our 10th anniversary edition was fantastic, really successful for the exhibitors and for visitors. Fantastic. So you can't rest on your laurels. So what's going on now? What, what's the plan for 2025? Well, basically, we're as a team getting together and obviously going through all the stats and the result of quite intense surveying that we've done for, for our attendance. Um, so we're, we're working a bit hard behind the scenes um, to create the campaign for the 2025 show. Um, we've already we already started basically selling stand space um, at Fit Show this year, and had a fantastic rebook rate, the best that Fit Show had ever had. So I think that really speaks volumes about how we delivered for our exhibitors. So yeah, we got really good results from that. Lots of people signing up, and then subsequent to the show, we've had. Um, some great results as well, some new brands that haven't ever done a fit show. They came along, visited, and that was enough to swing them in the right direction. Um, we've got some brands signed up that have been missing from the plan in the last year. Um, so, yeah, the campaign in terms of selling space has already started. We're already working with those brands to get their names out there. Um, but as I say, we're doing a lot of research into what the visitors felt about Fit Show. It's brought some really interesting stats out, actually. Um, one of which is that 61% of the audience are changing suppliers or looking at new suppliers as a result of their visit. So that is an absolutely, well, fascinating stat for us. Um, we had quite a lot of feedback from the, the visitors that they were disappointed in the lack of systems houses. Um, we had systems houses there and Cortizo and Selector to name a couple, um, but there was definitely the, the absence of some of the larger, more recognizable house names um, was an absence that was felt by our visitors. Um, so, yeah, we'll look at, I mean, we're obviously going to have to work hard to get those brands back to the show. But I think when they see a stat that says that 61% of the fit audience um, are switching suppliers as a result of their visit, has to be a massive incentive for them to consider showing, showing either their new products or creating the brand awareness that Fit Show does for them. Yeah, that makes sense. And then... It's 2025, so there's two years of planning. It gives them extra time. Do you think that's going to make a difference? Yes, I think yes, I think it will because obviously they can fit Fit Show into their product, new product cycles, um, which is is always a factor with Fit Show for the UK market. But um, one of the things I think um, brands that have booked early appreciate and understand is what Fit Show as a brand can do for their brands. And the minute we, we sign an exhibitor up, we take them on a journey. And so it's not just about the three days of the show. So brands that are thinking about it should be choosing their stand position now because we've all, we're already, um, I think, around 35 40% sold. Wow. So they need to be choosing their stand positions and making a plan to exhibit at Fit Show 2025 so that we can do our best work in talking about them to the wider sector and outside the obviously outside of um, the show itself. Right. And then speaking of setups and, and stand space, are you changing the setup from th this year? Um, because you had three halls this year, didn't you? Yeah, we are. Um, we're actually moving um, halls again it, it's not the first time we've done it for fit show at the nec but we're moving the halls um and we've in fact we've signed the tenancy contract with the nec for four halls um that is a larger footprint but one that um i don't want to concern people by that because a lot of people say oh, well you know fit show could be too big it could get too big um we're very conscious we're very 
protective of our brand and presenting the right product balance, the right balance of size in terms of the overall size of Fit Show is extremely important to us. But, but having looked at the stats that our research has identified, um, there were a lot of visitors who were perceived Fit Show as not having enough UPVC, as an example, which is a bit ironic because Fit Show started its life as being known as a, a, a PVC show. That was all there was to it. We worked really, really hard to make sure that that wasn't the case going forward. And now, we're, now the criticism is there isn't enough of it. So that's one of the product areas. Smart technology was another one. So we've got visitors coming to Fit Show. Um, we know what they want to see. So it's up to us now to deliver the right product balance. And as I say, it will be across four halls, which is gives us also an opportunity to look at the type of features we have. What is it the visitors are coming for? You know, our CPD seminar program, for instance, creates a, um, a very uh, intense interest, especially around um, the technical content, which again will be um, supported and sponsored by GGF and FENSA. Um, so it will give us an opportunity to make sure that we are delivering the right amount of information on the right topics for the all-important visitor. Also, so with the schedule, you're now back on schedule, aren't you? So the Fit Show will be back to every two years. Yeah. Do you think that sort of made a difference with this year's show because you did one last year and now you're back? Yeah. Obviously, the 22 show was the postponed 21 show. So we did one in 22. And then to get back in step with Fence to Bow, which is, is, is an important factor for a lot of our exhibitors and in some of the visitors, but mainly some of the bigger exhibitors, we needed to get back in step with Fence to Bow, which meant that we had to run again in 23. I say we had to. We had a great time doing it. And it was bizarrely, because obviously it was our 10th, um, anniversary year it was a great opportunity to celebrate being a part of this fantastic industry so 25 um, we're back in step we're back where sh we should be so fit show 2025 it sounds like a long way off and uh, there's a lot of work that goes into it that people just don't appreciate but how can the people that are interested in, in the show sort of stay in touch with you uh, um, until that point well, interestingly enough, uh, at the 23 show, we did um, we had a company come in and do some drone filming, which has enabled us to create um, a 360 fit show tour. So one of the ways that visitors, particularly perhaps visitors from overseas who didn't manage to come to the show, have heard about fit show, want to know what was there, have heard about maybe a product launch that happened there and they want to know more. So they'll be able to virtually walk the floor and pop onto exhibitor stands and learn more about the brands that were exhibiting there. So that's fantastic. And that will be going live in September. Um, so that is one of the touch points for our community, our fit show community to interact with the brand. The other thing that proved massively successful in the past when, when we were, dare I mention the word COVID, but during COVID we um, created some online learning and we plan to do that again um, because it was immensely popular. And, and it's important to us to continuously open the dialogue between um, us and our market. So it's a great way to do that. So that's another way we're... Um, engaging with our community which is is really good actually a lot of people they sort of forget about the community the focus you just think it's all around the show so the fact that you're you're putting time and effort into that is, is really good and i also think you know once people sign up for the show our journey with them starts immediately so we're already talking about 2025 we're talking to exhibitors in quite a lot of depth around what their plans are they won't always tell us because it's a lot of secrecy but, but, you know, we start that journey now um, and over the next however many months are left, Richard, don't scare me because it does seem like a long time, but in actual fact it isn't, we're already 
you know, issuing press releases. We're already planning our video campaigns. We, we had a two-day strategy meeting with the team to work out the ways that we can fulfill the gaps that all the audience have perceived. Um, we're talking about our creative campaign. So there's a lot of work to be done and we're all really excited to get our roll up our sleeves and get going. One of the fundamentals that we live by as a team on Fit Show is that we determine to get the absolute maximum return on investment for our exhibitors. Um, and how you do that is by making sure that they are getting a benefit from being part of Fit Show from the minute they sign right through to after the show. And the, the 360 filming is a brilliant opportunity for the exhibitors that supported us in 23 to continue potentially getting orders from people that didn't manage to come along or refreshing the visitors that did come along, refreshing their, their memory of the show, enabling them to walk around it again and as I say, potentially placing orders with the exhibitors that were there. So it's it's fantastic. It's a great use of technology, actually, in sort of keeping it very current, taking yeah. a show that is a physical show and, and turning it digital. It's it's strange because I was started my post-COVID journey or during COVID journey of being adamant that Fit Show was never going to be a virtual show. And I still stand by that because... This is more about offering up a, a live version, if you like, of being able to walk the floor of a show that happened. It's not, it will never replace Fit Show. Fit Show has to happen for that filming to happen. So it's not a pretend show. It's not a, a virtual show. It's a real show. But um, the technology that this, the company that we, we've worked with offer is that it enables you, the visitor, to walk across around the stand, identify products they're interested in, and find out more directly from the exhibiting company. So I, I think it's, um, it's a game changer. And it's a game changer for us because it lengthens the shelf life of Fit Show. And that is what I'm determined to do. And from an exhibitor's point of view, I mean, they, they spend phenomenal amounts of money on the stand. So if you can extend the life of that for, you know, oh, encapsulate it digitally, it, you know, it just gives them more of an incentive Absolutely. to spend more on their stand. Yeah, and I and the technology we've adopted, I, I was determined again not to um, charge exhibitors to be part of that experience because I wanted um, the people that revisit or visit the digital version I wanted them to see the whole thing. So we we took on board the costs of producing that. Um, there were some, some ways in which exhibitors could enhance their presence on that virtual tour, but uh, the 360 tour. But um, yeah, it's, some, it's us giving back as well, you know, because as you yeah. say, exhibitors spend a huge amount of money. Um, so it's really important that what they're buying from us is extra business, more business, more customers, because that's what they're there for. So you mentioned uh, some brands are coming back in 2025. Any of those sort of first time brands that have really saw success in it and wanted to do it again? Yeah, and I think that that is, is a great question. And it's actually a testimony to the show when you get a brand who... Um, exhibits a fit show for the first time and they already sign up for the next show you know you've done your best work you know and we we had quite a high number of new brands at fit show 23 and a very large majority of them and some of them were, were big brands but large majority of them have signed up already to exhibit at fit show 2025 they already knew from spending the three days at the show that it had worked and how well it had worked. So, yeah, we're, we're really excited to welcome that there'll be old timers by the time we get to 25 because it will be their second show. But, yeah, we, we did really well. Awesome. Nikki, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for yours. And all the best with, uh, with the preparations. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed talking to you because talk, I'm talking about what I love, Fit Show. I like that. Thank you. Thank you.